Easy Row Plus Quick Start Guide, Part 4, Creating Static Elements. This section will add text and background images. Windows 12 and 13 will have static images covering the entire screen. Window 10 will use Window 12 as the background, and objects on Window 10 will appear in front of the background image. Window 11 will use Window 13 as the background. We will open Window 12 to place the background image. Select Draw, Picture, Picture Library, Library, Browse to your Quick Start Library. We will place Image 5 on Window 12 to work as the background image for Window 10. Ensure that Set to Original Dimensions is checked. Place the image on the screen and then double click on the image to open the properties. The Profile tab allows you to select the position. We want the position to start at 0, x coordinates, and 0, y coordinates. This is the upper left corner of the screen and ensures that this image fills the entire screen. Going back to Window 10, we will now make Window 12 the underlay window for Window 10. Right click Attribute brings up the Window Settings properties. You can also get to this dialog from Window, Open Window, 10, Settings, or by right-clicking on the window in the Window tree. Underlay Window, Bottom, Window 12. Select OK, and Window 12 is now the background for Window 10. And now we will follow the same procedure to make Window 13 the underlay window for Window 11. Open Window 13, Draw, Picture, Picture Library. This time we will choose Picture Library Object 6. OK, OK, Place, Open Picture Object Properties, Go to Profile, 0, 0, OK, Go to Window 11, Right Click, Attribute, Bottom layer, Window 13. OK. The background image for Window 11 has a cutout in the brewer for showing level and a menu area to the left to display control information. We will now add text to the menu area. Select Draw and Text. Font size 18. Font color dark blue and text of mixer control. Click OK and place in the menu area. We will also label the other menu areas by copying and editing the text. We will now center the text objects. Select and hold the control button on your keyboard to select multiple items. From the Edit menu, go to Align and center horizontally. When using the Align function, the last selected object is used as a reference and is indicated with the red handles. So Mixer Control, Temperature, and Tank Level were all centered based on the placement of Tank Level. And now to center them in the menu area, I will use the arrow keys on my keyboard to move the text over. We will now add the indicator for degrees Fahrenheit. To get the degree signal, press and hold the Alt key and type the numbers 0176 and then release the Alt key. With Part 4 complete, you now know how to use underlay screens in the picture library to provide a consistent user interface across multiple screens. 
In part five, we will create digital inputs and displays to allow you to start and stop a process.